Page two, we're going to round these numbers to the nearest hundred. Okay. So if we have 413, if you round that to the nearest hundred, what do you get? Now let's first quickly write out what hundreds means. If we're talking about hundreds, we're talking about numbers that look like this. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 and so on, right? These are hundreds. So what hundred is 413 nearest to? Which of these numbers is it nearest to? So I'll just take the tens out of here for now. Okay, so these are my hundreds. Which of these is it nearest to? Is it nearest to 200 or 300 or 400 or 500 or 600 or what? 413 is closest to 400 and so that's the answer that rounds to 400 now another way of doing it is to say I want to round to the hundred spot okay the hundred spot and the next digit is a one and the nice thing about this is we can completely ignore this digit the three doesn't matter the fact is I want to round to the hundred spot and the digit after that is a one now if it's four or less we round down if it's five or more we round up so this one is less than four so we round down and this becomes a zero the four stays the same and then this digit also becomes a zero because this has to be a multiple of 100 so it's a it's 400 right so how about 783 what hundred is that closest to 600 700 800 the, the, the multiple of 100 that this is closest to is what? It's closest to 800, right? Now, again, the other way of doing it is to say, look, we, we want to round to the hundreds spot. The digit, the next digit is an 8. Now, if this digit is 5 or more, we round up. If it's 4 or less, we round down. Now, 8 is more than 5, so we round up, right? We round up. So, if we round up, then this 7 here becomes an 8, and everything else is 0. And that's a multiple of 100. So, that's rounding to the nearest 100. Okay, how about this guy? 3,824. Round that to the nearest 100. Well, let's see. We want to round to what? To four, to where where's the hundreds place in this anyway remember this is thousands this is hundreds the hundred spot is here that's the hundred spot okay so what's the digit after uh, the eight it's a two right so how do we round this then we've got a round to the nearest hundred the next digit is a two. If that digit is two is four or less, we round down, right? So we get three thousand eight hundred. Now this is a multiple of a hundred also. If I was to continue my hundreds numbers here, I'd get eight hundred, nine hundred. What comes after nine hundred in this sequence? Ten hundred, right? Or one thousand. Then we'd have eleven hundred or one thousand one hundred. Then we'd have twelve hundred or 1,200 and so on and eventually we would in fact come to 3,800 or 3,800 so this is a multiple of 100 because it has two zeros here it has a zero in the unit spot and a zero in the ten spot okay round this guy to the nearest hundred then Okay, so the hundred spot is five, the next digit is a zero, and so surely we round down, right? Yep, we round down. So we get four five zero zero or four thousand five hundred. Okay. Round this guy to the nearest hundred, what do you get? Well, the hundred spot is here. So this is thirty four thousand nine hundred and ninety, right? The hundred spot is here, the next digit is a nine. Do we round up or down? We round up. 
Okay. Now that means I'm going to basically add a one onto here. Okay. So this is going to become zero, and of course we have zero here. We're going to add a one onto here, and what's one plus nine? Well, that's ten. The other way of looking at it is, look, I'm adding a one onto three hundred and forty-nine. What is three hundred and forty-nine plus one? Well, it is three hundred and fifty, right? Three hundred fifty. So, if I do that, if I add the one on here, this becomes, th you know, thirty-five thousand, right? Okay, press pause and do these guys if you like, or if you need more time. But but go ahead and see if you can do these guys on your own. So you're rounding to the nearest hundred. So we've got to round this one to this spot here, right? What's the next digit? The next digit is five. So do I round up or do I round down? You got to round. Got to round up, right? Press pause if you need more time. Now don't don't remember. Remember you've got you got to press pause if you need more time to try and figure it out on your own. So I'm going to round up. So that means I'm going to add a one onto here. So these these just zero out, and you've got two hundred and seventy nine plus one. What does that make? Two hundred and seventy nine plus one is. Two hundred eighty, right? So we have twenty eight thousand, right? How about this one? Nine hundred fifty three, round that to the nearest hundred. Have you got it? Nine hundred fifty three, round that to the nearest hundred. We've got around to this place here, the hundreds place. After that is a five. Again, if it's five or more, you got around up. So I've got to add a one onto the nine. What's one plus nine? One plus nine is one plus nine is ten. So the nine becomes a ten, and everything else is zeroed out. So I have ten hundred or 1,000, right? So even though these numbers are thousands, they are also multiples of a hundred. They're also hundreds, all of these guys. I mean, thousands are hundreds. And the reason it, the reason why they're hundreds, the reason why they are hundreds, like one of these numbers, is because, what's common about all these numbers, by the way? What do all these numbers have in common? They all have two zeros in this spot. They all have a zero in the unit spot and a zero in the ten spot. Just like these guys. They have a zero in the unit spot and a zero in the ten spot. So even though they are thousands, they're also hundreds. Okay? Because they have a zero in the units and ten spot, right? Okay.